This conference will now be recorded. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see how the quality management plays the role in procurement cycle, QM in procurement over you. Then how the quality functions are handled during the good receipt with purchase order when the metal is received against a purchase order. Then we will see quality management at good receipt without purchase order. Okay, sometimes they procure the metal without purchase order. Then how to do quality inspection during that time. Then QM during stock transfers, stock transfers, when the stock is moved from one plant to another plant or one story location to another story location within the same plant. We will see that how to do quality inspection, then controls in procurement, then uh, usage of quality info record, what is quality info record and uh, how it is used. Then vendor release, how to release the vendor from the quality, quality perspective. Okay, then handling the quality certificate during procurement. How the quality certificate, COE or COC, how to hand how to how to handle the certificate receipt in the system during procurement then invoice block blocking the payment to the vendor then use of quality systems qm system so these are the topics we will be covering in the qm in procurement okay so if you have made the required settings in the quality management view of the material master an inspection lot is created it good receipt for the materials procured from the suppliers. So normally what happens is in any typical manufacturing industry, so to produce the products, to manufacture the products, they need some raw materials, input materials. So these input materials, they purchase, they procure from the suppliers, vendors. So they give a order, they give a order to the supplier, like I need this material, this much quantity by this date. For that particular supplier okay then that supplier will supply the material okay when this when they receive the metal once the supplier supply the material when the when the plant receives the material they do the quality inspection okay whether that particular raw material is according to all the required quality standards or not if it is not inspected and if vendor supplies inferior quality material then if that particular raw material is consumed in production our final product quality may get affected. So that is the reason normally most of the industries, they will do the quality inspection of the incoming materials. Okay, incoming materials like raw materials, packing materials, sometimes even spare parts, okay, uh, or sometimes uh, it can be a stationary, okay, uh, 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 floor cleaning liquids, uh, production accessories kind of thing. So. So these things so normally they will do quality inspection for the materials which are consumed in production activity so this is called incoming material inspection okay so now we will understand how to do the quality inspection okay what design what settings we need to make it in the system so that system generates a inspection lot automatically all those things we will discuss if a stock relevant inspection lot is created at good receipt a transfer posting can be made for the stock exclusively using the inspection lot in quality management. So normally what happens is uh, when, the, when the inspection lot gets generated, system automatically posts the stock into quality inspection. Uh, this I will show it in the system. Okay, so system automatically generates an inspection lot for quality inspection and also it will post the stock to quality inspection. Okay. Till when the stock is in quality inspection, the production team cannot consume that stock or even the warehouse cannot issue that stock to the production. Okay, as, as long as that stock is in quality inspection. Okay, I will show you this in the system. So to trigger an inspection lot, the inspection type required is 0, zero 01 and can make postings from inspection stock using the lot. So you will, system will automatically post the stock to quality inspection which i will show you. the post to inspection stock indicator triggers automatic posting to the quality inspection i will show you this 
post inspection stock indicator okay so this is the basic uh, process flow basically the first the purchasing team whenever they need a material whenever they need a whenever they want to purchase or procure a material they will create a purchase order okay purchase order po so this will be done by normally by the mm team materials management team will create in the system in the sap uh, normally in the business point of view the purchasing department will do this they will create a purchase order so in the purchase order they will enter what material they need what is the quantity by which date they need and the vendor code all those things they will enter i will show you this in the system then they will issue this purchase order to the vendor vendor will supply the material okay against the purchase order. so when the material is received the warehouse team will do the goods receipt they will once they receive the material they will do the good receipt so when the good receipt is done if all the settings are in place system automatically creates an inspection part okay for the quality inspection of that particular material particular material and batch quantity okay so this is the way. so you receive the material from the vendor you do the gr the warehouse team will do the gr then if all the settings are in place it will generate an inspection lot and the stock goes into quality inspection inspection stock then the quality team will do the quality inspection they perform the quality inspection if the quality and everything good when they do the ud okay then they will post to unrestricted new stock okay and if the stock is not good okay if the if the quality of the product is uh, the material is not good then they will post it to blocked stock and then they will they can generate a quality notification also this we will cover uh, in our quality notification section okay so if the quality is good they will do ud accept post it to unrestricted use stock if the quality is not good okay then they will post it to block of stock block of stock we'll see it. we'll see these things in the system okay so first we need to understand to execute this process in the system what is the data required okay so first you need all the qm basic data like mic's sampling procedures okay inspection plan all those things you need okay so that basic data setup you need to do from qm side and from mm side they will create all the procurement related data like vendor uh, material all those things they will create procurement related data on top of that you need to make the inspection setup inspection setup in the system in the materials management in the mm metal master in the qmu you need to make the setup this i will show it in the system okay so so first let's see whether all the basic data is there or not let me go to the system okay i'm taking this material this is a metal 7219 okay and the plant is 1010 okay this is a metal hydrochloric acid okay first let's check whether it is having the inspection plan or not i'm just checking whether the qm relevant data exists or not so if you go to qp03 I already created the data. Material is 729, plant is 1010. Okay, the material is 7219. 7219. Okay. So this material is already having inspection plan. Okay, you see if you if I go to header, already it is having the header data. We already discussed in our previous sessions how to create the inspection plan header data and operation data everything so it is having one operation and in this operation i have assigned one characteristic that means when they receive this material they are going to check the ph value just i keep i keep it i kept it very simple one operation with one mic okay so and also sampling procedure already assigned so qm basic data is ready qm basic data is ready now procurement data from mm site vendor code all those things that is already available now we need to make inspection setup so to to trigger a inspection lot when the material is received against a purchase order the inspection type required is zero you need to activate the inspection type zero in the material master in the qm so we are doing this activity third this one this one okay so what you need to do you need to go to material master go in the change mode mm02 this is a material enter 
select QM view 